Hello guys, welcome back to our series on ESP32. So in today's video, we will see how OTA works for ESP32 via HTTP and also see what issues you will be facing while implementing this uh, OTA and also all the possible solutions for this. So let's get started. So here we will first check uh, the existing example given, given in ESP IDF for advanced HTTPS OTA. Uh, we have already added the project here. So I'll just tell you the process where you can find this project. So in this example code, you go to systems and in OTA here you will get all the OTA related codes. So we are using this advanced HTTPS OTA. Add it and compile it. Now let's see how this code flow works. So in app main it is, it will first connect to your internet Wi-Fi and one uh, thread is created here. So first all configurations are done. So this URL is added here. This is your server URL where your image file or we can say dot bin file which is is located on your server. So you need to mention your path here. If you are using HTTPS you will need a certificate. So just you can directly paste the certificate here in double quotes as a character string. So after this ESP HTTPS OTA begin is called. So ESP HTTPS OTA get image descriptor is called. This will return all the information, we can say header information of the image or file that you have that is located on your server there. So what information you will get is magic word, secured version, reserve for this version, project name, time date, idea of version and all. So here version means application version. This is of our concern. And then it will validate the image header. So here it will get ESP OTA get partition descriptor. So it will get the same information from the image that is inside your ESP32 device. Same information see. And this version number is of our concern here. What it will do is it will just compare both images version number. And if both are identical then your OTA will be failed. If they are not identical it means that you have a new image file available and now you need to download it. Let's go back here. So yeah, ESP HTTPS OTA is performed. So our file is being readed. ESP OTA, OTA finished is called. After this your device is rebooted. So this is how it works. Before running you have to just do two things. Uh, go to SDK config. So you need to go here example connection configuration and you need to add uh, SSID and password here. You can add your URL from here as well. So if you run this project it will run successfully and you, you, you will be able to download in the file from your server. So you'll you might face an issue if you want to write the same code or if you want to copy paste the same code in a new fresh project or in your existing project. Let's proceed with that. So let's create a fresh project here. Copy the entire project. So in your HTTPS or tier test main, delete this existing project. and paste the copied project here. Go to your cmake list.txt file 
not inside the main the project cmaclist.txt file and just add this command extra components directory and this part so just add this command file is so as it is outside our component folder so we need to explicitly uh, mention the this path save it and compile so here we are getting an error so we'll just just add the timeout directly say 5000 milliseconds and just add your url here whatever your server url is now let's compile the code and check it once it is giving some error so as i'm just using http i will just not mention any file here and also command this part it is not as it is not for use even if you are using https you just comment this part and here in double quotes just paste your certificate and that should work our project is compiled so the changes that we need to do are just go to sdk config of your project go in this example connection configuration add your ssid password here this is first thing first thing to do now here we need to do second change is that uh, go to partition table here so this partition table it is single factory app no ota here so we want to perform ota action so just use this factory app to ota definitions you just select this so now let us understand the partition table here just go to your esp idf project components and it will be partition table so this one is what we were using which is default and which does not allow you to do ota on your device esp32 device and this one is the second to ota if you want to perform ota as we have selected here to ota definition so this is the partition table that we have selected just open it we will focus on this factory ota0 and ota1 this is application part the application that you write so whenever you flash the code to your esp32 board the code will be stored in this partition okay so uh, after that when you perform an ota first ota this partition will be used so whenever your device boot this partition will be executed when you perform second ota this partition will be uh, will be updated with new code and this partition will be used on every reboot again when you perform third ota then factory app will not be in picture only ota0 uh, will be updated with new code and this partition will run so this will go alternatively on every ota uh, that is performed on your esp32 device here you can also keep only one one ota partition suppose if i delete this you can also keep it like this but what will happen is once you do ota it will be in ota0 app okay when you perform the ota second time it will not allow you to perform saying the partition error so in this case you can do ota only once so if you want to do ota regularly you need to have at least minimum of two you can also increase it you can define a custom and you can increase it but this is what minimum is required now second important thing is the size here so when you compile a code 
like for example this advanced https ota so when we compile it a dot bin file is generated in your build see this dot bin file this, this file is used for the actual ota so you you need to place this this file on your server the project that we have built is http ota test so i will flash this code using my programmer to esp32 so this is my dot bin file that is created so it is of 851 kb so always be sure that this factory app so this size should always be greater than your file size here so let's check what this size is it is in hex so basically it is 871 kb and our file size is 851 kb so we can use it this partition table complete partition table is flashed only once when you program your esp32 device using a programmer only once it is flashed so just be careful while entering this ota0 and ota1 size second change you need to do is is go to flash serial flash config so here i am using esp32 c3 device which is having 4 mb flash but here the flash size is set to 2 mb okay the or if i add all this partition size it is getting beyond 2 mb so i just need to increase the flash size of to 4 mb as my esp32 c3 is of flash 4 mb size if you have any other device which is having more flash you can increase it so now let's compile the code once so if i log this see you can see this partition table is printed here it will show you all the size this is the offset of your partition that means your factory app will start from this address in your memory flash memory your ota0 will start from this flash address and your ota1 will start from this flash address so now let's flash this code just open the terminal here so now it is giving me image header validation fail so this is because the version number of both the files the one in my device and the one on my server both are same so to change the version number in your file just go to your project cmake list dot text and before this cmake project dot cmake before this project dot cmake means here just use this command project underscore vr and enter your version number here the file that I'm having on server is having version number one. so i will just give it a version number 2 here so now let's compile this open the terminal so here it is saying write into partition subtype 16 at offset f0000 so let's check our partition table here so ota0 is at offset f0000 so currently our ota is write, writing on this partition so after writing is completed the device will be reboot and your new partition code will be loaded we loaded app from partition at offset f0000 
So this is how OTA works in ESP32. If you find this video helpful, do like and share this video and subscribe our channel. Thank you.